Hi presenters, I hope you're well and I just want to draw your attention to a post that I made a couple of weeks ago and this was quite an interesting one because my post was trying to draw people's attention to an event we have here in Bristol uh, focusing on advanced PowerPoint skills and what I did is I used PowerPoint to create a video for LinkedIn uh, in order to promote it. So in case you didn't see it, it looks like this. And what you can see is that this looks like, and it is my regular LinkedIn feed, but what I've been able to do is actually make it look like the LinkedIn feed is coming to life. And those hot air balloons that you can see, I'll just move that a bit closer, there we go. Those hot air balloons that you can see are actually flying from one post at the bottom of the screen to the next post above. And it's all an illusion, it's all done with PowerPoint. So I've written a really detailed blog on exactly how you can use PowerPoint for social media videos. I think this is something that's gonna be really useful for a lot of you. So the link for that is in the comments above this LinkedIn video. And I'm gonna just very quickly here show you what I did as well. So if you want it in a nutshell without any detail at all, here goes. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is just open up the LinkedIn app on my phone. Here's an old post of mine. And I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. And all I'm doing on my iPhone here is editing out or cropping out the bits that I want to then put into my PowerPoint slide. So I'm just gonna grab my name and my little caption that everyone sees when they see one of my posts. I'm gonna save that to photos. And then what I'll do is beam that across to my laptop so that we can open it there. So here on my Mac, you can see I've got a folder with a few more images in as well. Uh, here's the image that I just took from my phone. Um, I also grabbed another one from the same place which just shows uh, a few likes and comments and the number of views. That's also gonna be used in the PowerPoint slide in a second. And in order to create my post, I also needed to grab an image of the Bristol Suspension Bridge. You'll see why in a second. And I also grabbed a Shutterstock image of some hot air balloons. Now, I've done a little bit of work on those images to remove the background. Um, I'll go into details of that on the actual blog rather than here on the video. Now, what I want to show you is, of course, the actual PowerPoint presentation itself. So I'm gonna open that up here. And this is already constructed, so I'm gonna take it apart in a second to show you how it's been made. But the first thing I want to point out is when I opened PowerPoint, the very first thing I did is I went to page setup and I actually created a custom size of 19.5 centimeters and that just gave me a square shape. The exact measurements you'll need I'll put on the post, on the blog post uh, as well on our website. So that just meant that my PowerPoint slide is now this square shape and that of course means that when I export this to video, put it up to LinkedIn, it will fit seamlessly into the LinkedIn feed and create that illusion as if my LinkedIn posts are coming to life. So here on slide one, I'm just gonna pull this apart so that you can see, there's the image uh, of, or the two images I should say, that we took from my phone. Down at the bottom here we have an image of the suspension bridge, which I've actually cut out uh, the background from. And then down here at the very bottom, we have all of the individual hot air balloons as PNG files. Now if I put that bridge back, and I put everything else back where it was. We've also got this sky background here as well, which was just grabbed from unsplash.com. If I put everything back into position, all I did then is I duplicated this slide. So right click, duplicate slide, so that we ended up with slide two. But on this slide, all I did was I moved those hot air balloons to be above the sky and at the top of the actual slide and of course I made them much bigger. Now in between those two slides I've used my favorite feature of all which is the morph transition which is just here and of course what that means is that when I present this you'll see in a second that we actually get this really nice effect where we're moving from slide one 
to slide two and PowerPoint is filling in the space in between. So it's moving those balloons from being really, really small and at the bottom of my slide on slide one to being much bigger and at the top of the slide on slide two and I want them to disappear off of the slide. Now once I've done that, once I've got my design and I'm happy with everything there, the final thing to do is go to File and Export. And what I'm going to do here is of course export this as an MP4 file. I can play around with the quality a little bit if I need to. Uh, most importantly I can decide on the amount of seconds spent on each slide. Um, so I've gonna, I'm going to leave this set to 5 and click the export button. And what you can then see here is on my desktop I now have a video that I can play. Uh, it's nice and small in terms of file size. It's going to work perfectly and of course when it goes up to LinkedIn and is published as a post on my LinkedIn feed, it's actually going to play on a loop. So if people are scrolling up and down their LinkedIn feed, they will see this on a loop and it has confused a few people. A few people have said, how, is, how are you doing that? So it's all done through PowerPoint. Now I went through that pretty quick, so I apologize if you didn't catch all of the detail, but like I said, there is a link above this video which will take you to a really detailed blog covering the ins and outs of everything I did there. I think PowerPoint can be a really, really useful tool for creating social media videos. So I hope you find the blog useful. Let me know in the comments below if this has been useful and please share any examples that you create from PowerPoint yourself and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.